Which of the following inhibits bone resorption? Interleukin 1, OPG, parathormone or interleukin 6. Now in order for tooth movement to take place, okay, in order for tooth movement to take place, one side of the bone has to undergo bone apposition and the other side has to undergo bony resorption. Okay, so one side will undergo apposition, one side will undergo resorption and this is how tooth movement takes place. Now the cells that are going to bring about apposition are the osteoblast cells and the cells that are going to bring about resorption are the osteoclast cells. Okay, now there is an interaction that is also seen between the osteoblast and the osteoclast cells. So how does this take place? Now the osteoclast precursor cells consist of a receptor that is present on its surface. That receptor is known as the rank receptor. So the rank receptor is the receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B. Now this is the rank receptor. Okay. Now the complementary structure which is going to interact with the rank receptor that is the rank L. Okay. That is the kappa B ligand. This ligand is present on the osteoblast stromal cells. Okay, so here this what you see is the rank L. Now there is an interaction between the rank receptor and the rank L that is the ligand. And this interaction is very very important. Okay, so the rank, rank L interaction is a very important phenomenon that needs to take place because after this interaction is when the osteoclasts are going to uh, mature from an osteoclast precursor into mature osteoclasts which are then going to be activated in order to bring about bone resorption. Okay, so if this interaction between rank and rank does not take place, then maturation of the osteoclast will not take place and bone resorption will not take place. Okay, so this is going to reduce tooth movement. Now there is another molecule that is known as the OPG, that is osteoprotragrin, which is a decoy molecule. Okay, so it has a structural integrity similar to the rank receptor. So it can also bind with the rank L that is the ligand on the osteoblast. Okay, so this is the OPG that also binds with the rank L. So if the number of OPG increases, okay, so if the OPG amount increases, then more OPG is going to bind with the rank L than the rank. Okay, so this is going to reduce the interaction between the rank and the rank L. So OPG is going to competitively inhibit uh, the rank from binding onto the rank L. So this is going to prevent the activation of the osteoclast, right? So if there is an increase in OPG, okay, this is going to reduce or inhibit bone resorption because it is going to prevent the maturation of the osteoclast. Now the other factors that is the interleukin 1, interleukin 6 and parathyroid hormone. So the interleukins are inflammatory mediators which are actually going to bring about an increase in the bone resorption or they are going to stimulate bone resorption. So this is a very important table okay, for you to go through. This, this lists out very nicely those factors which are going to stimulate bony resorption and those which are going to inhibit bony resorption. So certain hormones like the parathyroid hormone and vitamin D, they are actually going to stimulate uh, the resorption of the bone. Whereas others such as calcitonin and the sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone are actually going to bring about an inhibition of bone resorption. There are other local factors also like the interleukins which are inflammatory mediators and the TNFs which are actually going to stimulate bony resorption and those like OPG which are going to reduce uh, bony resorption. Other than these factors, it is also important to know the various drugs and the effects the drugs have on tooth movement because this again is a very frequently asked question. Those drugs which are going to increase tooth movement, those drugs which are going to reduce tooth movement. Okay, So it is important to also go through this topic.